The following segment is sponsored by Providence Health and Services. This segment of AM Northwest is brought to you by Family Matters. Health and education, safety, and the quality of life. K2 and our partners are proud to bring you Family Matters, offering solutions to the hard questions. Because K2 and Providence Health and Services know that family matters. Whether you're an elite athlete or just starting to exercise, Providence Sports Medicine can help you prevent injuries and stay active throughout your life. Here to share more, we welcome from Providence Medical Group sports medicine physician, Darius Greff. Good to have you with us. Hello, thanks Helen. Um, so doctor, let's start with what are the most common injuries that you usually see during the summertime? Yeah, so overall, during the summertime, we see a more increase in activity. People sure. are more eager to get out there. Well, we fly. live in the Northwest. We exactly. want to get out there, exactly. right? Speaking of that, so we do a lot of hiking, running, cycling. Uh, so because of that, a lot of the lower extremities take the brunt of the injuries. So talking knees, foot, ankle pain, a lot of patients will present with that. And, and then why do you think people are getting these injuries? Is it because yeah. all of a sudden we are just now, we go full bore instead of taking it one step at a time? Yes, in part, yeah, good question. So basically a lot of it has to do with that good old deconditioning. We're less active during the winter months. Yeah. And then summer hits, we go full bore. Uh, we're really excited to get out there and be active, um, but really we haven't acclimated to that certain level of intensity. So I know we're all trying to capitalize on that three golden months here we have in Oregon right. <laughs> before it gets cloudy again. Uh, so yeah, we're a little overzealous and then more often than not, we kind of unfortunately end up straining something. Right. Yeah. So then what are your top tips on how to prevent those injuries? Yeah, so in general for um, summer activity, top of my list is hydration to prevent any heat related illness. If you're just out there for like an hour, water's totally fine. Yeah. Uh, two to three hours you want to add a more oral rehydration solution like liquid IV, add some salts and sodium, uh, get, get that going to account for those losses. Um, another thing is just going really gradual, especially yeah. the first one to two weeks that you're out there. Most people's bodies aren't calibrated to that increased level of exercise intensity with that heat, so you want to be careful with that. Um, and I do want to add, I'm by no means a dermatologist, but I will take this as a moment to remind everyone to wear their sunblock, sunglasses, right. hat. All that jazz. Which, yeah. by the way, your skin is beautiful. Oh, thanks. Yes, <laughs> very good. So what about stretching? I've got to believe that's important, too. Like, I think of people who get out there and all of a sudden get shin splints. Yeah, so stretching is important. Yeah. I would say actually strengthening is the more important oh, okay. thing to do. Yeah, a so lot of So get in the gym. Kind or, of, yeah. So actually, um, you want to do more uh, specific working on those little muscles that we don't really activate so much during the gym. Um, so focusing on like a prehab program to strengthen the small muscles that are more like supporting muscles uh, to kind of prevent injury from going. From okay, occurring. so yeah. someone comes to you and they're a hiker. Mm -hmm. What would you say to them before you go out on a big hike? What would you say to do to strengthen like yeah, sure. So um, a lot of times um, with hikers, I, I look at the lower extremity, of course. Right. A lot of people have a lot of glute med weakness, um, quadricep weakness, so I get them okay. in with a physical therapist. Um, and doing gait analysis, I think, is really important, which we do here um, at Providence. We, um, we do a whole bunch of different sport analysis, gait. Uh, for runners, we do biking, swimming. Oh. Yeah, um, we cover a whole bunch of different things. We even do like weightlifting proper development and form. Um, I personally work for Team USA Weightlifting, have exposure with injury prevention and those injuries. Um, so yeah, we have just a multitude of different uh, therapists tailored to that. So I'd get them connected with um, one of those therapists right. and kind of work on strengthening those underlying weaknesses that we may not be cognizant of. Let's say you get an injury. Sure. It could be knees, your knees hurting, your mm -hmm. feet hurting, whatever it yeah. When is it time? When do you know it's time to go to a doctor? Yeah, so my go-to policy for this is the sooner the better. Um, sometimes something may just seem like a mild sprain or strain, right. and then it can be a little bit too late. That initial injury can be a, a harbinger for something more lingering or chronic in nature. And then your whole body can compensate and you get this pain all throughout. So really, sooner the better. Otherwise, safety rule would be if it's not gone in a week get it checked out oh because i've known people who who think they just sprain their yeah. foot possibly then it turns out they've broken something yeah right exactly so definitely like i said as soon as you can if you feel something off go ahead and get seen and um would you suggest then going to a sports medicine specialist just in case you want to get out there and be really active this summer yeah so um at providence we have if you're trying to be active or starting a new program right. or even have this lingering ache um like I said, we have all these different sports medicine specialists. Right. Tailored to I love the whole things. idea of studying someone's gait. That makes sense. Yeah, yeah. We do the running analysis. Yeah, it's really cool, actually. Yeah. So that way we can kind of work on that intrinsic foot muscle strengthening, kind of.
kind of reverse um, certain uh, bad habits that we have. Right, absolutely. Yeah. All great information. We're going to yeah. tell our viewers if you would like to find out more, all you have to do is contact Providence Sports Medicine at 503-29-SPORT, and we'll put all the information on our website at katu.com slash Family Matters. Thank you so much, Doctor. Thank Appreciate you so it. much, Helen. All right, we'll be right back with more AM Northwest. Don't go away.